Yeah. Yes. Good. Hey, everyone. <laughs> I'm Chris Parker. This is Chris Nishihara with the Ishihara and Parker Law Firm here in Longview, Texas. Today, we're talking in our post-Christmas discussion about some of the new requirements coming through for 2024. If you are a LLC owner, if you are a corporation owner, if you're an entity that filed the Secretary of State, you need to pay attention. Back in 2001, the government passed the Corporate Transparency, excuse me, the Defense Accounting Act, which brought in the Corporate Transparency Act. Understand what that means. It means that if you involve one of those entities, the Secretary of State, you have new obligations. If you're an existing LLC, you have until 2025, I think, to actually come in compliance. If you are a new company or a new LLC filing with Secretary of State, you have 30 days to file with the Secretary of State. What does all this mean? What are they looking for? They're looking for bad actors, bad people engaging in money laundering, people trying to shelter funds, hide their ownerships. The new requirements are that they want to identify who you actually are, where you actually live. And if your ownership's greater than 25%, if you're an owner, if you have the right to dissolve or change the company, suddenly they want to know who you are and what you own so they can track these funds. This is important. We're all required to do it. And a failure to comply will result in or possibly result in penalties up to $500 a day. I think capped at $10,000 and up to two years imprisonment. So super exciting. Um, So let's make sure we get this done. So Kristen, the government wants to know a lot more about our companies. Uh, What do they want to know? Sure. So uh, under the premise of Homeland Security (laughs) and making sure that our national defense is safe, um, you are now going to be required if you are a corporation or an LLC or really any business that filed with the Secretary of State to form. So um, that could, you know, be a a number of different options there. If you are a sole proprietor, though, you aren't a reporting company. Um, So if you didn't file with the Secretary of State to create your entity, then this is not going to apply to you. But you do need to determine if you are a reporting company or not. Um, Effective January 1st of 2024, so right around the corner here, um, FinCEN, which is a bureau of the U.S. Treasury, will put out a report reporting online option to submit to report your beneficial owners. So you first have to determine are you a reporting company, if you're a filed LLC or corporation or limited partnership or any of those entities with the Texas Secretary of State, you are a reporting company. What are you reporting? You are reporting your beneficial owners and a lot of their personal information. Um, So to be a beneficial owner, You have to either own directly or indirectly 25% of the company or have substantial control of the company. That would be maybe a senior officer, someone that has the ability to merge or dissolve the company, someone that can control major expenditures. If you have questions about that, you're going to want to talk to your attorney or CPA. Um, But let's just assume, you know, you have an LLC, maybe you have 50-50 or whatever Mm -hmm. ownership interest. Hopefully that's easy enough for you to determine Um, If you are a beneficial owner of that company, you will be reporting to FinCEN. Um, So their website uh, says in their FAQs that an individual can probably do this on their own, do their own reporting. Again, if you have questions, you should talk to your attorney or CPA. They can help you. Uh, But going to the FinCEN website, the form is not currently there. But after January 1st of 2024, we expect that it would be there for an online submission to start. Um, Hopefully, we'll be available pretty quickly there. If you are a new entity forming after January 1st of 2024, like Chris mentioned, you will be required to complete this filing within 30 days. If you are an existing entity, so you already have an LLC or a corporation or a business entity, you have until January 1st of 2025 to complete this filing. Quick question. Let's just say I happen to be on multiple um, LLCs. I'm involved in multiple businesses, a rental company, an equipment rental company, a land renting company. Do I file one? So no, you will Mm. file for every entity Mm. you have. Um, What you're reporting is the reporting company's legal name, any trade names or DBAs, the current street address of its principal place of business. Uh, This cannot be a P.O. box. It's jurisdiction of formation. So a Texas entity would, of course, be Texas and your tax ID number. So for the reporting company, you're giving them all that information. And then you are listing each beneficial owner, whoever you have determined those people to be. Now for the beneficial Mm -hmm. owner. uh, So for example, our PLLC we have for the firm. 
Uh, Chris and I would both be beneficial owners. We will have to list ourselves in addition to the reporting company and list our full legal name, our date of birth, our residential address, and a unique identifying number, which is going to probably be either your Texas driver's license number or your passport number. So do we each submit one for the LLC, PLC, or do we do one for the PLC? So the reporting company is responsible for submitting the beneficial owner information. It is the reporting company that's responsible. So we do one for each entity that you have, but each entity must file um, and again, for existing LLCs, yeah. that will be by the end of the year this year. Mm. Um, mm. Yes. Now, one thing mm. that will probably be helpful to those that have multiple LLCs um, is getting what's called a FinCEN identifier. So each individual can submit through FinCEN, again, not open until January 1st. So I can't tell you exactly how this is going to work yet. Mm. You can request a FinCEN identifier. To get that unique FinCEN number, you're going to have to give them all that same beneficial owner information, but then they give you an identifying number. So then I can get a FinCEN number, and then when I report for our LLC uh, and PLLC, I can give them just my identifying number. Why would that be easier? Because you have an ongoing obligation to update changes within 30 days. So if you have more than one entity, it will be easier for you to update in one spot under your FinCEN identifier if your residential address changes or if something else changes, it'll be easier to update in one spot than going to each entity and updating your beneficial owner information. This will be exciting. Uh, There'll be a lot of people who missed this. I'm kind of curious how they're going to handle it because the penalties seem pretty expensive. Yeah, if you go Uh, to the FinCEN website, um, they claim to have a large uh, marketing process going on to get this information out there. But I do think that the information is not really out there um, and will be a change. There is no fee for filing. Um, They're, you know, purporting that it'll be an easy online submission that people can do themselves. So really, the information does just need to get out there. What you submit is not public information. It's not available to people that are requesting it. There is not an online directory of any kind. It is just going to FinCEN. Um, They are claiming that they will keep that information safe um, and not disclose to other people. Mm. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, At least from the reporting standpoint, I guess we're really hoping that the CPAs and accountants are aware of it and at least kind of reminding folks tax season is rolling around. Surely they're always focused on taxes, but someone's got to let all the business owners know like, hey, there's another hoop you got to jump through, yep. and um, it does have teeth. I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't want to be the person who goes to jail for up to two years because I didn't list my beneficial ownership in something. I mean, that's right. They can, yeah, of course, I mean, excuse those penalties yeah, for you know yeah. not having bad intentions, but nonetheless, uh, yeah. uh, still a law, still has mm. to comply, still has potential penalties, and we don't know exactly how those will be addressed or how the system will be rolled out. But it is starting January first, twenty twenty four. And uh, we should all be expecting to start registering at that time just to make sure that that gets done and completed and you've complied with what you needed to do. Um, There's no annual obligations. It's not a tax filing. It's not something you have to do annually, but it is something you have to update changes within 30 days. Um, So it is not something to ignore. It is something to get done and very important that we get that information to business owners that need it. Yep. Keep your eyes open, folks. Just another regulation, but you got to get it done. Yep. And for more information, um, you're welcome to contact your attorney, your CPA, us, or look on the FinCEN website where that portal is supposed to be live January 1st. So happy new year, guys. Good luck. See you next time.